E-girl drama og... Wait... Ludvig... This one? No. What, what channel did he uh, upload it to? Mogul Mail... Yeah, fuck, I'm not sure if I'm even following that channel. I am subscribed. Leaked group chat, this one, huge e-girl drama, okay. Who is that? A lot's happened over the past week. There's big updates to the protests in Iran and a huge update to the war in Ukraine. And we're here to talk about... Aware. E-girl drama. Okay, so it's not like the most <laughs> valuable thing to learn about, but but boy, is it is it? There's something about it that just it, the eye is drawn to it. It's like a car crash on a highway, and you have to slow down to 40 miles an hour because you want to see what happens. Who is this drama about? Haven't Should be just driving down the road of life. Come you know, on, let's tell us. Drama. It goes together like mogul mail and subscribing. So let's hop in to the hot, juicy drama. And before um, we dive in, it, it is worth noting that these are all. It also go hand in hand with. Press the follow button if you're not already following. Feel Come people. on. And although I think their actions are deplorable, I don't feel like the actions of any of my viewers should somehow on. be worse. All right? Stoop to that level. Right? Like, if your Come first on. Press thought the follow when button. looking at some of these horrible comments from these e-girls is like, they're ugly anyway. No. That's, a dumb, that's a dumb thought. Because if they were pretty, then they, they like, shouldn't get the pass. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's, let's try to be cordial and enjoy from the sidelines all of the drama that came from a leaked Twitter oh. group. Now, it's kind of Secret dumb how this Ninja originally Thank uh, you for got following. leaked. Basically, these girls had a Twitter group with a lot of people in it. I think they okay. kicked some people out of the Twitter group. Some people in the Twitter group's accounts got deactivated. And then they used that to talk hella shit. This the follow hella button. Shit. That's the correct uh, button. Let's just take a look at a few of these. Um, uh, okay, I... Okay, wow. I'm going to pretend... New Cat Girls RT. New cat girls RT. The fuck is this? Can someone explain to me what the hell is this? That step, presumably another e-girl, uh, gave me COVID and called me a slur. Uh, uh gonna say Steph gave me COVID and called me a chick and then the N word. And if I say that. Uh, I want her canceled immediately. And these are all, by the way, like, you know, famous, semi-famous e-girls, hundreds of thousands of followers. Some of them have millions of followers. And basically the entire thing they do is they'll post a picture of somebody who they don't like and they'll trash that person mean girl style. Which is just, I have to tell that, you, adding so magnesium like to my diet has improved my sleep so so much and has made a big image of how I feel and I'm out of it. That's good to hear, baboon. The is petition to get her to try again. Like to try killing herself again, which is crazy. What a crazy what? thought to have and then also share with people. You have to wonder for a moment, and, and there's more of these, but you have to wonder for a moment what kind of ecosystem was created where people feel comfortable sharing those thoughts. And I, and I have to imagine Look at that camera, but I can't that's afford like it anyway. the culture. And it's either stab or be backstab, right? Not, not. So like if you're not talking shit in conjunction, then everyone else might turn on you. They make another group, and then you start getting made fun of. It's like Kai all Bell, in yeah. a way to fit in of with the one human desire that we all seek at the end of the day, which is to be noticed, heard, appreciated, and feel like we fit in. But if you feel like you're fitting in because you're trashing other people, then maybe you're not the best person in the world. Uh, the posts continue. Uh, I hate drama so much. I don't really believe that sentence. Uh, and then the final one is hideous ogre monster with Belle Delphine lips. Jesus Christ, man. And that's just the start of it. <laughs> what that's is just this? the start of this. This is another video. What are your honest thoughts about this? Anyway, she's fat and she can die. Okay. Jeez. Jeez, man. Uh, they talk about how everybody's ugly. I mean, look, you guys can dig into these posts. I sat there for like 25 minutes last night just scrolling through. I even found people replying with like video. So who posted this? Videos of all the conversations. It, it, it goes deep. The rabbit hole goes very deep. Okay, explain to us. We need to more. I don't uh, care about the mess. And again, it's it's like it, it literally feels you like a monster. out of Mean Girls uh, without the hilarity of the writing from that and it's just take picture of person and write you a monster um i hate when white people use minority struggles and racism to make others hate someone i don't i don't even know what i don't even know where they're going with that one uh and and then uh i don't know i'm not gonna lie a lot of people on twitter have way too much time on their hands and i say this because i was literally 17 and uh deranged did the same shit where people just shit talk people i hated but now i just avoid them at all costs because it's so weird and these girls will be fake nice 
and then say a bunch of shit in our groan. Okay, this this I think is just projection, right? Because who even writes all of this and why is this posted online? Is it? <clears throat> it seems to me that this is just shit kids posting shit messages to each other, like uh, happening Talking all about over. How much they hate how people <clears throat> will talk shit online and be fake nice. And then on a private account, they said, you're so fat, lose weight and turn pretty challenge. Cancer failed. She's so ugly. I'm crying fat whore. So like, you know, it just doesn't, does, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I do think that's a thing, by the way. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that. I like, I think it's a thing specifically like with, with like some of the, like the e-girl communities I've seen online. It's not exclusive to women where they, they're like, they're so weirdly positive in replies with pictures, right? Like it'll be a girl that posts a picture and then you'll see like a hundred replies that are like step yes, step on my throat, queen. you crush me with your coochie. Not steals, my man. Thank you for like, twenty-five months You're straight. So pretty. But it all feels like a contrived, made-up compliment to like be part of some in-group, as opposed to like a genuine connection True. you're trying to make in a in a genuine support. Sometimes it is, by the way. Like, actually, a lot of the times it is is it is the latter. But it is also so much the former, where it's just you know fake message because they were rough. I pulled up this one. This is from the most popular. Little people retweet Lily Peach. I just blocked her. She's so fucking annoying. Famous for a lonely voice. <laughs> what is it? A lonely voice? <sighs> lonely voice trolling. Lonely voice. Okay, I I don't need to open the video. I can we can see on the thumbnails. Okay. We don't need to open. We can we can we now know what lonely voice is. Done. I done my research. I don't want to hear it. Popular e girl. Her name's Amber. She has like 1.2 <laughs> million followers, which is like about as many as I have. And she says, I hate when people retweet Lily Pichu. I just blocked her. She's so fucking annoying. Famous for a lolly voice. She's fucking. Autistic, she's famous for nothing. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, now, I say this to Lily's face, but that's because we're friends, and that's different. But also, this was before she was famous, which brings me to the main thing I want to talk about today, which is how influencers all have a forced, contrived, buttoned-up personality. Because you have to. You're ha you have to when you're, that, when you're that big and famous. Otherwise, if you posted stuff like this, it would come out and people would hate you. Which okay. I guess you could do, but then you become Carlos and you post circle emojis all day. And so, <laughs> the is. influencers that you watch online, including me, their entire like moral compass and like how great of a person they may seem and how nice they are and, and a beacon of positivity and uh, maybe charity work and all of that, all of that is forced. Like they have to be that person. Not to say that they cannot also be a great person. You know, maybe they, they, they started that way. Maybe they were that way behind the scenes. But even if they weren't, they have to transition that, that that way. You know, you've probably seen countless edgy content creators turned like the squeaky clean SpongeBob because that's just what happens when you grow bigger. If you want to keep growing and you want to get sponsorships, because otherwise, and you don't want to get banned all the time. I'm doing it as well, and it isn't always about cleaning up, but it's sometimes it's about adapting to society as well. Otherwise, you get a little too big. People start noticing if you've been an asshole your whole life and then it all falls apart because if more people hate you or even half as many people hate you as like you, I think that's overwhelming pressure and not many people can keep up with it. Anyway, uh, this was not as bad of a post. You might be wondering like, oh, why are they canceled for, for this? Well, there, there was also like several N-word posts. I, I, I'm not showing them because like, you know, I don't want to get my video demonetized, but like so, so many. You could censor them. So many N-word posts. Uh, and then they spent... Uh, the better part of the day, deleting a lot of their old posts and also going to Discord to say, why are people mad about the fat shaming? Just don't eat and go to the gym. Why are they not fat shaming? That's my question. Jesus. And they double down. They just they just double down. I'm not kidding. I've curated a community that fat shames people and bullies people. That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. That's like a resume to become like a moderator for Sneeko. Not exactly something that you want to like start bragging about when you're walking around town. I don't know. I don't get it. Looks but nice. What's the update to the e-girls you might be wondering? Deactivated. 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 What? Well, privated. And one one apology. I think there might have 
been like another apology. This is again from Amber, the biggest one. You know, maybe some hope, 1.2 million followers, that they can come back at some point and keep making content and of course can. making money from being an e-girl. We'll see about that. What's the apology though? I'm deeply apologetic to everyone I hurt and offended by the tweets I made in 2017. I was immature in trying to fit in with the wrong people. That's not an excuse. Those tweets are not a reflection of who I am today. Although I am no means a perfect person, I have since grown up and done my best to move on from the environment that I was in. I am ashamed of how I acted in previous years and as of recently still have a lot of reflecting to do. As for the group chat and Discord messages, I realize the behavior is harmful and the things that were said. Okay, yada, yada, yada. It, it does. It does read a bit like what you're supposed to say and i and i think what i've what what I'm deeply sorry for the tweets I uh, that I made in 2017. They were thoughtless and hurtful and do not reflect the person I am today. I have grown and learned a lot since then and I understand the harm that my words caused. I apologize to anyone who was affected by my action and assure you that I am now a better person who is committed to being more thoughtful and com compassionate in my words no compassionate in my words and actions tada apology out right. <laughs> tweet longer <laughs> that's how much time you need learned to... about like successful apologies there's always a thing that you're supposed to say, and I think we've had a shift where creators have gone from like saying the dumbest thing possible and trying to like garner sympathy through dogs and to like saying the thing you're supposed to say, like the PR thing. And now I think there's a shift from the people who watch, like the viewers, they want something that feels kind of real, right? Like like something that feels like a like a, there's a human behind the words, even if it's an apology. I think a great example of this is like Jenna Marbles. It's like, oh, there was a human behind that. Like, oh, she cared. Like, she gave a shit. She, she's sad, sorry, and wants to move on from it in that part of her life. This is like, hey, I'm going to do the checklist of the things I'm supposed to do so that maybe in like six to 12 months it all washes away. I can post my titties and get to make money. Uh, and I think people caught on to that because there was a huge viral tweet. Uh, that said no fucking way man and it's uh, chat GPT and it says write an apology for being a horrible mean person and also <laughs> okay it did that as well <laughs> and it's a word for word reshot of the actual <laughs> obviously this is fake a lot of people believe this but you know that's just well a literacy problem so she had to make a second apology where she said my apology was uh, not AI generated <laughs> which is which is crazy that that's something that has to happen and so uh, something someone has to do. We anyway, weren't wrong. Like, now like, was how pretty built up. Get out. Like how did the group chat get leaked? Well, one of the people that was in the group chat that they made, you know, and, and they removed people from because they didn't make a new one to talk shit in. Uh, their accounts got reactivated. So they just saw all the messages after their account. Arve, thank you for like, 1500 oh, bits. Arve. And then they leaked it. Anyway, that's the year old drama. Yeah, it wasn't much to see in this video. Like who cares? There's a few things in life I don't care absolutely anything about and that was what people wrote on Twitter in 2017 to be honest